Hello everybody, welcome to yet another amazing session that we are doing on understanding the basic to advance of Excel or Sheets with ChatGPT. And in the previous two sessions, we dealt with the sum and the profits function in Excel or Sheets that we are operating on with the help of ChatGPT. We understood that how to use ChatGPT and also how to enter effective prompts on ChatGPT. In, in today's class, we will move ahead and we will understand the if function. So basically, if function is to get a particular value when you have certain conditions already expressed in the data. For example, over here, I have got four different products. I have the manufacturing and the expiry date. And I want to understand whether my product is expired or not. Okay. So over here, I have got jam, pickle, biscuit and chips. I've got the manufacturing dates of each along with the expiry dates of each. And I just want to understand whether the status of them is expired or not expired. So now how do I do this? Well, to do this again, I will take the help of chat GPT. We have already understood that how to open chat GPT. Now let us understand that how do we enter an absolutely effective and precise prompt to understand and get the correct response from chat GPT. So what we'll do is we'll just write over here. Hi, I am new to Google Sheets. I have data of four products. I'm sorry, products along with their manufacturing and expiry dates given. I need a, let us put it this way. I need an if function to understand whether the product is expired or valid. Okay. So this is how I put a very, very clear, precise prompt in my chat GPT and let us see what the response it gives me. So it is saying welcome to uh, Google Sheets and you can use the if function to determine whether the pro product is expired or valid. So all you need to do is you need to use this. Okay, so you need to use this in D2. So again, what it is saying is Let's use column D for the status. Okay, which column are we using? We are using column E. So in D2, enter the following formula. So according to chat GPT, we should enter it here. So it is D2 mentioned over here. So according to chat GPT, we should enter it here. But we have our, we need our data over here. So we will enter the formula over here. I just right click and paste the formula directly from chat GPT. Right. Now it is saying C2 because it thinks that D2 is where we need the data. Okay. So what we'll do is we'll change this C2 to D2. Okay. And let us see if we get the answer. So it is saying expired. And automatically it is suggesting autofill. And I click on yes. And I get the answer. Now just to verify. Just to verify whether what I have put is right or wrong. The manufacturing date is 4th December 2023 and the expiry date is four months later that is 12 December 23 which means it is already expired right now this one is 4th uh, sorry 12th April 22 and this is 6th June 23 now is this expired or not well this is also expired but it is showing me as valid. Okay, so this is something which we need to highlight and we need to understand that why this has happened. Again, this one is 6 November to 6 November 24, which should be valid. Okay, whereas this is 23rd Jan to 20 
23rd Jan 2024 to 22nd Jan 2024. This is again, I think a little invalid data. So what we'll do is we'll just do it after like say four months. Yeah. So again, it is uh, expired because uh, today's date is something different, right? So what we'll do is we need to understand that why it is showing this as expired. So we'll just uh, change it. This is D5. We'll just write here D3, D5, expired. Okay, again here we will write, we shouldn't have done the autofill. We shouldn't have done the autofill. Here we'll put as D6 in the formula. Valid. And here also we'll put D7 as the formula. Again, expired. So, uh, again, even the second one, it is taking as D5, which is correct. So, what we need to do is every time we cannot rely on autofill. Every time autofill cannot be relied on because in the previous sessions, in case of profits, we saw that autofill helped us to get all the values, right? But every time autofill cannot be used because many times it is not correct. So, that is why you need to be very, very careful when you are using the formulas from GPT into Excel because many times it gives us the correct uh, formula, many times it does not, okay? And now what we'll do is just like our previous sessions, we will ask chat GPT itself to give us sample data set to practice the if function. So let us be as polite and as clear and precise as possible. So first we'll say thank you, okay? I wish to practice if function in sheets can you provide me simple data sets data set let us start with one data set for the same okay so here it is giving us a simple data set, right? A sample data set it is giving us. Again, product with manufacturing date, same thing it is giving us. And we need to use the if function. So what we'll do is we'll just copy. We'll just copy paste this in our Excel sheet. Copy. And I just press control V. Oh, so it has taken it this way. No problem. We'll again tell ChatGPT itself. I am not able to copy paste the given sample data set in my sheets. Provide me with a different format. Or provide me a different format. Yeah, see now this this format with ChatGPT is generating for me. This is going to be amazingly easy to copy paste, right? So I just copy paste my data set from ChatGPT. I just do copy and here I'll press paste. Yo, I got my data, right? Now to use the if function, I don't again need to go back to ChatGPT. Here is the time when you get a little smarter. So you will go back to the cell where you have used the formula earlier. That is this one. And you'll just copy this formula, right? And you need to just change the cell to I4. So I will paste the formula over here, Control V, and I will put this as I4 expired, okay? It is expired. Now let me see if it gives me the correct uh, one for everything. Well, it is actually everything is expired and that is why it is giving me every product to be expired, right? Because all of them are actually expired. Some of them have the same dates as well. Okay, so that is how you can generate a sample data from, from chat GPT. Use the if function and that is how you get your response right so this was all about the if function now what i want you to do is i want you to generate a sample data with the help of chat gpt sample data sets 
practice as much as you can because excel is something that the more you practice the more it will help you the if function can be used in multiple places and many uh, business analysts data analysts will have a lot of requirement for the if function right let me show you that how useful can chat gpt be so i'll just uh, give you a quick sample which different professionals require the if function so everybody from hr to marketing uh, you know it is accountants financial analysts business analysts data analysts scientists everybody will need the if function for example if my sample has given this color it is you know uh, say it is a paramecium if my sample has divided in this function it is an amoeba just giving you a little uh, biology perspective to it so you know business managers so many are there accountants financial analysts business analysts hr sales marketing project managers teachers educators engineers healthcare researchers it's a very very versatile uh, function to be used in uh, sheets or excel so make sure that you practice the more you practice the better you will get at it so this was all about the if function in the upcoming uh, sessions we will be learning more uh, about different functions like the left and right so this i will mark as done and then we'll move on to the left and right in the next video so until then keep watching keep practicing keep learning do not forget to give this video a big fat thumbs up do share it with everybody because all of us use sheets and subscribe to learn until we meet next take care keep learning thank you